Let's play ball. Welcome in and thanks for joining us. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. Still nobody out here in the first inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Paul O'Neill. Just Ball missed. Ball one, no strike. The pitch. And That's another ball. ball. That one ripped the foul. Kicks and fires. One strike. Line drive, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard, like you did right there. Cool. Glaber Torres. In there at the knees. Oh, one for count. The pitch. There's a swing and a drive. That ball's carrying. Tattooed and gone. A laser to left. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 2-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was an MVP all over again. So now here's the D.H. Babe Ruth. Aye. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. That one finds the zone. No balls, two strikes. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point... He's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. The punch out there, and that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the home. That seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the play right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Now it's going to be Lou Gehrig. There's a strike. Two runs across in the inning here in game one. High fly ball out towards left field. That's back there. And that one is out of here. It's their second home run of the inning, and they add to the lead. It's 3-0. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. He 
He dropped a barrel right there. Got a fastball down at the knees where he'd prefer it. So many times now, guys are having to adjust to the elevated fastball. So I'm sure his eyes got big when he saw that one coming. Here is Aaron Judge. There it takes low for ball one. Yankees up by three. Here in game one of the ALDS. Bounced, and that got the pitcher. Now the throw to first on the run. Jack Jack the and now the hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took. You see him down on the knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Here's Juan Soto. Fastball in for a strike, going away. Ball one there. Missed with a changeup. Two and one. We got two balls, one strike. The other way, and he beats the shift. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in. And he's out. down, and that ends the inning. Back here with my pal Siggy. And today's starter, Garrett Cole. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. We go to the bottom of the first. Now the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. That's in for a strike. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. That one not one close. Strike. And now it's even one and one. And if there's one man you want to keep off the base paths, it's this guy right here, Ricky Henderson, the undisputed stolen base king. Hey. A big swing and a miss. One and singing Ricky's 1,406 career steals is a record that may stand forever. The active leader in career steals isn't even a quarter of the way to that number. Next offering is in the dirt. And with the extreme crowds of that batting stance, Ricky made pitchers work. His strike zone was as small as it gets. He's looking to get on base any way he can because he knows a single is a triple. The 2-2. Two -two. That one ripped. track as well as it bounced over the fence it sounded really good too he just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run so man aboard stepping in Bernie Williams there's a strike runner at second nobody out Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. There's a ball. He's safe. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great defense, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Righty to the plate. That one ripped right center field. something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that you get to stroll into second base without having to worry about getting your uniform dirty and now you're just looking for the next hitter to kind of do the same thing maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well Derek Jeter stands in here takes ball no, one no. home no outs runner on second 
headed down the line on the move towards foul ground. Grabs it on the run. Grunner tags it second. Not in time. He's safe. Okay, let's check out the lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. And the righty deals. baseman Don Mattingly this one smoked on its way out of here just like that they move in front it's 4-3 he absolutely crushed that one no doubt about that one boy we knew it wasn't coming back Back Jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Mickey Mantle digs in now. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Soto going after it. Makes the catch. Two down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 that minutes of balls the in the gaps. They practice yeah. this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And here is Joe Mauer. Out there to center. Judge is there. He makes the grab. And that ends the inning. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. It's now a 4-3 ball game. This is the American League Division Series on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the second baseman, Alfonso Soriano. And the pitch. These fans have to feel good right about that. This series not going to be easy, but they have the lead at home in game one. That brings the anxiety down a few notches. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. A drumming oh, on the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. Hairston under it. That's a really nice play ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Here's the catcher to hit, Austin Wells. And there's a base hit into left. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Love how he let that ball travel, That's trusted right. his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Anthony Volpe. First with one gone, Anthony Volpe, the next to hit. That one finds the zone, and it's a one run. 
trophy. A former Gold Glove winner, 22 years old. A former first round pick back in 2019. Ball off foul. The Yankees trailing by a run here at the top of the second. And a ground ball to first. There's one. One hit, no errors, and no left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. The dudes lead it four to three. And we're back. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. The third baseman. This is a true five tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off. And a foul ball. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. The 1-1. One, one. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Enough. Just a solid the swing right base. there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So digging in, Jerry Hairston Jr. Oh, and the first that. pitch misses for ball one. Right-hander kicks deals. Foul ball there. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough no, to get two did. with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Right gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Runner, Runner on the goal. Squirts a little bit. Blocked by the catcher. And he steals second base without a throw. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. The 3-1. And yeah, there's ball four. Maybe a little less of focus on the now right there. Pretty much gifted in the first base with the quick three points. Here's the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. Let off this game with a double. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Makes the grab, one away. Now the number now two hitter, Bernie the Williams. A double and a run scored his first time up. Drilled to right. his power with that swing and they boost their lead it's 7-3 that's their third home run of the game they're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one they've got the long ball working for them on autopilot he's so good at getting his arms extended and that's exactly what he did right there we're typically when a pillow pitch on that kind of thing, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the ball, and gets the home run. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Garrett Cole is done in this one, and the home run really bit him today as he exits on the hook for the loss. New arm coming on after the break. Marcus Stroman gets the ball now. Number zero, Marcus one out, base is empty. And now the shortstop, Derek Jeter. And that one is in for a strike. The drama always heightened in the postseason, and it leads to some really special moments. 
and a pitch. That one fouled off. Well, one special postseason memory for me, Boog, was facing Pedro Martinez, game five of the ALDS in Oakland. And man, hit a double off the wall. Great feeling for a guy who would eventually go into the Hall of Fame. Zips it to first. That's the second out. Now that the designated hitter, Mike. Two wow. outs, base is empty. Next to hit, Mike Trout. He's already homered here in this one. First one offering out. misses badly for ball one. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. It's now 7-3. Top half of the Pretty third cool. inning. Here's the Yankees leadoff right hitter, right Paul O'Neill. Paul O'Neill. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. Just that. Nice job of getting out of the jam and out of the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Ricky Henderson. Stroman back to work. Anderson checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Hard hit, right side. Tosses to first. One out in the bottom of the four. Now batting, right fielder. Bernie. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Williams. Bernie Williams. He's already homered in this game. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Left-hand batter waits to the right side. Soriano tosses the first, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. 
That's a good piece of hitting right there. The it's early, but you He'll still want to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Scorched to center. to the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. And they thought there was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with a lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Here's the catcher, Joe Mauer. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Bounce to the right, Soriano. On to first, oh. got the out. The third baseman, number five, Dick Bear. Now the third baseman, David Wright. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checked. just sounded different and yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet man my ears are ringing I can feel that swing from the booth love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you watch him from the on deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing one down now here is Mickey Mantle fouled off. One down, base is empty. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Popped up right side. 
Garrett pulls it in, and there's two away. It's a good recovery, though, after Protector giving up the home eight. run. Not allowing no. it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Two outs, base is empty. And now the catcher comes up to him. Joe Mauer. This one in the air. And puts the squeeze on that one. That is the inning. So they get two runs on two hits. One of them left the yard. We look ahead to inning number eight. The dudes out front, 12 to four. And we're back. And now here is Glaber Torres. Labor. the center fielder the center Aaron fielder Judge Aaron Judge new arm out of the bullpen Tom Henke compared to some days this is a pretty low now leverage appearance for him so no. he should be fairly free and easy on the road still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone the line to kick the pitch ground off the middle that's a base hit and the leadoff man aboard. Wastes no time there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Soto stands in now and watches strike one. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. When the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. He's two outs away. Now it's the second baseman, Alfonso Soriano. Right through there for a strike. Thank you. Multi-time All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a forkball, and he works in a two-seamer. Here comes a pinch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. So it's their last chance in this one. And here's the catcher, Austin Wells. That one finds the zone. Strike one. The Yanks with a lot of ground to make up here in the late hey. stages of game one. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can hey. do series to say a must-win game, but when you've got home field advantage, it's a luxury, but you have to protect it. Huge win in game one to set the tone. Well, Cindy, it wasn't pretty, but here's another look at the final line. Yeah, Boog, this one wasn't close. Not a lot of drama at the end either, and you just don't see a lot of blowouts in the postseason. 12-4 is the way this one finishes. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.
Play ball. Just joining us along with Chris Singleton. I John Shaw. Still in the first inning. Nothing, nothing our score. And stepping in for the Yankees, Paul O'Neill. And the first offering is not close. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Here's a look at Aaron Boone's lineup for the Yankees. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Labor no Torres strength. at the plate now. That's ball one. One down, base is empty. And it's down the way. Here's a one-two. Bows it back with two strikes. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. And it's even up. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. 2-2 two -two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making him work out there. Comes a 2 2. And okay. another ball. Hit hard. That gets through. 
So a man aboard now with one away. Well, when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go off. And right there, we see the result. So now here's the DH. Babe Ruth. That's a laser base hit. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. Off the bat, I thought they were going to score their first run of the game. And that feels like a tough break. But look at the bright side. Really good contact at the plate. And now they're working with not just one, but two runners in scoring position. So they'd love another base hit right here. Now a chance for it. Second and third, run away. And we're here in game two of the ALDS. That misses the zone, and it's one and one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Swung on, belted. Trap on the move, and that. Just side of the wall. Runners tied up from second and third. And they strike first as they take a one nothing lead. So many times that one gets out of here and into the seats, but he'll take the sack fly RBI. Good job to get that run in from third. Aaron Judge That's at good. the plate. This guy That's with good. light tower power. Aaron. It's early, but these at-bats can impact the game just as much as they do later. Here's a chance to set the tone early for your team. Lined, and that's a base hit. In comes the run from third. And they take a two-run lead. Picks himself up an RBI. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Runner at first with two away. Juan Soto down. Pitch misses there. And that is ball one. And no, that's, that's outside. outside. To account, you really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges, really execute a pitch. Hopefully, you can get back into this count. No, that ball. one misses, and it's 3 0. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone to the tail. It hooks back. That's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. It's got to find a way just to travel a hair more. See another payoff pitch. Two outs. In the air to left down the line. And that drops foul. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Gets a piece and stays alive. here as he fouls it away and a 3-2 and a foul ball he stays alive here comes a 3-2 he ah! didn't make it easy for him on the mound but they still get the strikeout but two runs for him and they jump ahead on to the bottom of the first the Yankees lead it two to nothing here with my pal Siggy getting the nod on the mound of Ron Guidry. Well, this guy lives and dies with the slider, and it's a good one. Most guys, they're working off of their fastball, but he's backwards a little bit. Works off the slider, and then when the fastball comes, it can add. This one's best at deep to left. Way back there. Set this stadium into a frenzy. They're going nuts. High velocity up and in is just such a difficult location for the hitter, but this time he pulls the hands tight to the body, gets through this pitch. What conviction in that swing! Awesome job at the plate. Bernie Williams. Foul off left side. 
always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered. He's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Sizing this one up. Balls it in, and there's one away. That is good. Let's good. take a look at our lineup. They're dealing with a top level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bark, pump their base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. One gone runner at first. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. And the 1-0. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. one. Trout one is strike. one of the best players of his generation. He's a fan favorite because he brings a rare combination of speed. Runner takes off, swings, and blasts one deep to left center. Bobby Alex takes it over the fence for an automatic hit. This is a tough play for the offense to stomach. I mean, they did everything right, but the automatic double just ruined the hit and run. The runner had a great jump in first, and at the plate, really good contact. Just a little bit of bad luck robbed him of a run. Mickey Mantle getting ready to hit. Golden opportunity right here. capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Excited. Nice job to end the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the shortstop at the play. Anthony Volpe. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. Williams under it. Makes the cut three out. This park is absolutely electric for this game. Such a great postseason atmosphere. 
Nothing like the drama you get in the postseason, but we'd love being a part of these games. And he deals. No. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And, Boog, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with pitchers going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. The middle bounces into the outfield. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took him back. Ah. The and there's just no one there to knock him down. Jose Trevino now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Now it's Belton. Deep to left. Ties it up. It's 4-4. Two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. So the batting order turns over. Paul O'Neill stepping in now for the ball. Yankees. First pitch, and he One just ball. misses. No O'Neill, a former All-Star, 35 years old, and they traded for him earlier no. this year. Got a good eye there. Headed. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Line drive to short, and Yikes, that ball was scorched. An absolute missile. is empty no. just missed Duo. Now Ricky back. Henderson. Right. He's already home. Three. You're out. Two gone with runners at the corners. And up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. Stretch runners at first ball. and third. And ball one to LeMayhew. Sharp rounder. That's three for a base hit. In comes a runner from third. It's six to four. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team of bats right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Jose Trevino. 
That's through there for a strike. Issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work. Right. And Ricky Henderson the grab. And that's the third out. And we're back. And now it's going to be Bernie Williams. The line and pitch. Crush. He's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him play. Now it's the shortstop, Derek Jeter. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He decides to hang and the speedy runner is on it first. They're not going to look to be aggressive and get something he can handle. Just an awesome swing of the ball, quick hands, and just lost the baseball. Number one eight on the exit velocity. Man, that is coming off the bat pretty good. I know he's feeling good about it. And now, let's see if they force some action. With him. Runner takes off. Strike in there. Sandy gets second, and he easily steals the bag. The Yankees leading by a run here in game two. Adjustment, let it travel a little more and see if you can That's keep that ball. thing free. And there's the ball. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit, it's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Bounce it off, still one and two. And it's second. And oh, a swing and a miss. And one away. Well, obviously, that was nowhere near the strike zone. By the time he got to the plate, and people at home watching are here. thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the great guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. Digging in, Mickey Mantle. What a chance that time. 